Bill Sutton said to his biographer, Pat Unger, I have strong ties to this area of country, and I always have its shapes and colours and textures in my mind as a basis for my paintings. I've been brought up among southern stuff. It's part of me. I feel as if I'm a livelier version of a boulder in the riverbed. I studied in England for a couple of years, 1947 to 49. When I came back here, I was acutely aware of the nature of things, not their appearance. The, the way gravel crunched under your feet when you walked. The way grass seed stuck in your socks. I got in amongst it and said, this is what it really is like. And it makes a difference in one's painting. A favourite area for me to paint was up uh, at the Beely, this side of Arthur's Pass, in the upper Wamakariri. I stay at the pub there and walk across the river and up stream several miles to Turkey Flat and lie on the long grass and tussock there and the nor'wester sweeping over it and the, that wind governed the whole of nature from the slope of the trees on the, the far side across the river they were all moulded by the nor'wester blowing the ripple of the grass and tussock the wind pattern it made was echoed in the shapes of the clouds in the sky, all caused by the same wind. And uh, even the lay of the shingle and boulders in the river, offering its line of least resistance to the force of water that the Norwester released up country, up in the tops. That one thing governed it, and by seeing the results of a force like that, you infer the force itself, you paint the wind itself, and it became part of my, uh, uh, I wouldn't say repertoire, that, that's a vulgar word to use when you talk about painting, uh, part of my, and I won't use talk in trade either, part <laughs> of my experience. <laughs>